Well, get this, an animal crawling beneath the waters of Tampa Bay could be the key to a coronavirus vaccine. It's much smaller than a horse, about the size of a shoe, and it walks like mm. a crab, hence the name, the horseshoe crab. Pretty amazing stuff, but the vaccine to make humans healthy may come at a cost to the environment. Pinellas County Bureau reporter Christine McClarty joins us now live in St. Pete. E either way, this is pretty fascinating stuff. It really is. I have learned so much about horseshoe crabs today. Now, one thing that we all know is that they like to nest along shorelines like this one. But did you know that they are vital for our ecosystem and their population is on the decline because of how vital they also are for our medical industry? I heard you're the horseshoe crab guy. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Aaron Higgins says the Record College Research Group has studied horseshoe crabs in the Tampa Bay for six years. He says the animals have been around more than 350 million years, and their blue blood is gold to the medical industry. Their blood's considered to be the most valuable liquid on Earth. Higgins says their blue blood has been used in testing since the 70s because their immune system is sensitive to bacteria and making sure the vaccine is sterile. We're where it'll be very important and COVID is in the testing process as they test the vaccines. Their um, immune cells called amoebocytes are basically the most sensitive uh, molecule that we've ever discovered that uh, detects the presence of what's called endotoxin. The senior staff veterinarian at the Florida Aquarium says horseshoe crabs are primarily harvested in the Northeast, but their population is declining. If you have something like temperature change or nesting habitat loss or uh, in some places they were used as uh, bait, so, you know, those kinds of practices combined with, uh, you know, collecting blood for lab testing, all of those things are going to have uh, a cumulative effect on the health of the population. And since they've been around for millions of years, many other creatures in the water depend on them. Higgins says long term, if they decline too much, it could negatively impact our ecosystem. Now get this, Higgins also said that horseshoes actually aren't even dangerous to humans. That stinger on the end, or what looks like a stinger, actually isn't one. It's a kickstand that the horseshoe crab uses in case it gets flipped on its back. Back to you. Boy, you uh, did learn a lot about horseshoe crabs today. So <laughs> obviously this is fascinating because it just shows you how far we're going in trying to find a vaccine here for COVID-19. But it's not really like an animal, a, a horse, kind of like a crab, but what is it directly related to? So get this, neither one. It's actually most closely related to a spider, and we'll have more on that coming up at 5.30. All right, Christine McClarty, live for us tonight. Thanks for that.